Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. video we're gonna go to the house of my friend Ferdinand this friend of mine has been breeding rabbits and he got this inspiration from me because so many years ago he was asking about the alternative way to earn an income and I recommended to him rabbitry this kind of farming this rabbitry had caught the attention of the farmers because aside from this is very lucrative it's really very easy to manage easy to manage because it will just require you to have a small space and lesser expenses for the food actually if you are going to compare rabbitry to poultry i will recommend that if you don't have that sufficient capital you will go for the rabbitry because you don't need a lot of money to start with this kind of farming in fact our countrymen the filipinos have learned now to eat rabbits because these rabbits have low cholesterol compared to other kind of meat and aside from that rabbits are very safe to eat considering that they are only eating pellets and vegetables and grasses and I would like to reveal to you that in rabbitry we have to be able to address some issues about the basic or the common diseases that our rabbits may contaminate and one of the common diseases is this rabbit pox where we can medicate by simply using this ivermectin this ivermectin is intended for the pigs but i found it out that it is also good for the rabbits the dogs and other animals as long as you are using the correct dosage so come on guys we will go to the place of my friend ferdinand actually our friendship have brought us so many benefits because he is producing rabbits i'm buying his rabbits and of course i'm selling this for profit to our pet store so come on let's go and we will witness this very peculiar method of raising rabbits come on let's go So guys, we are on our way now to the house of my friend and it's raining here in our city and the traffic jam is just uh, bearable. Maybe 20 minutes from now, we're gonna reach the house of my friend. It's located some 30 kilometers away from here, but because of the traffic, maybe we will spend around 30 minutes to 45 minutes travel time. finally here at the house of my friend Ferdinand and I'm so glad that he welcomed us here <laughs> actually this friend of mine is my number one supplier of rabbits and he gonna show us now how he was able to produce a lot of rabbits out of his very peculiar system you know this man had been very successful in producing rabbits and his techniques is different from all the rest and you will see now that this technique is not the ordinary one where we can see hanging cages or elevated cages but this one is different because he is raising the rabbits just on the ground and they have a lot of cages now that we're gonna see so my muntagay salamat sa welcome to the so our purpose of coming here is actually to buy some 20 kittens and this is one of his sidelines and uh, we've been helping each other of course because 
he produced a lot of baby rabbits and we we're gonna buy this one and also we are gonna sell this to the pet store so this uh, relationship had been ongoing since Pilar na katoy ba? Dugay na no? Dugay na. So, can we get inside now and look at the, the rabbits? Come on guys, we will go inside. This is a part of his house that is intended for the kitchen, but for the meantime, he's using this as the rabbit tree. And you will see that the rabbits are just here on the ground. See that? This is amazing. In fact, I can count how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kittens that are here. He told us that his system of breeding is just allowing this dough to deliver babies on the ground. And when the moment they're gonna deliver babies, they will just make a hole and then deliver babies inside the hole. When this dog would like to give some milk to the kittens, he would just dig and get inside the hole and allow the babies to have her milk. So this is amazing. So we will now look at the other cages. Now I am convinced that the rabbits belong to the rodents family. They really love to stay on the ground. And this one here have babies also. Where are the babies? Seven. So right here we can see seven kittens. And they are all now big. See that? Wow. And right here, there are five kittens. So you look at that hole down there. This rabbit is making ready of her nest. She dug a hole and then this is an indication now that she gonna deliver babies. So it is expected that tomorrow this doe will deliver babies. And then this one. You see that? You see that? These are a two days old rabbits. You will see that the rabbit is making its fur as nest. So that's the usual thing that a rabbit would do. They will detach their fur and then they will make that as their beddings on their nest. I'm sure that you are eager to know about the feeding system of this rabbitry. I was told that he is giving this water spinach as one of the main sources of the food. Mga kapila ka maghatag o tangkong sa isak simana sa rabbit? Kaduha lang. Two times sa rabbit? Oo. Merkulis o sabado. Merkulis o sabado. Doon na ba yung significance sa aning anong merkulis lang o sabado? Mawala ako kay Kuhan sir kay kung masubrahan ko siya magbasa yan tayo. Ah, okay. He is feeding water spinach only on Wednesday and Saturday. And it has a significance because according to him, overfeeding will do harm than good to the bunnies. I was told also that he adopted one of the methods of injecting this uh, ivermectin. ivermectin. That's what I have told to our viewers that Ivermectin is really very essential in rabbit farming. Ano sa may mga sakit nga matambalan sa ivermectin? Yung mga ano kung magkagit kagit ang iyang lawas, iyang nao matung grabe ng kagit. So guys, the dosage is for one big bunny. We have to inject point three of this ivermectin, and this ivermectin will solve all problems of disease. The injury that may be suffered by the rabbits on the mouth, on their feet, and throughout their body will be cured by this medicine, this ivermectin. This is the secret that we have revealed, actually. We did not mention about this ivermectin in our previous videos. We have visited so many farms of rabbits, but we did not mention about the use of this ivermectin. But today, we are going to mention this one because we wanted you also, guys, to adapt this method if you are into rabbit farming. 
And aside from the ivermectin, he is using a particular brand of food. Ano sa kanya yung gigamit ba yung kon yung pagkaon? Kani siya o pizza o sumanok, filmito, galimax tree, galimax tree dinan. Okay. So this is the pellet that he is feeding. This is a product of Pilmico, and this is the maintenance pellet for the chicken. But I am so amazed that this can be a very effective source of vitamins and protein for the rabbits. So the rabbits can also eat the pellet intended for the chicken. So now we're gonna get the kittens. I am going to buy these kittens and they are around 20. So we will now start counting. Uh, Ferdinand is actually getting now the kittens and he's gonna put that here inside. So these kittens are just one month and 10 days. They look small because they are too many to share the milk of the, the mother. So this is it. <laughs> we will count now how many of them that we can we will count now how many kittens that we can get out of this cage. These are one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> So our cage is big. It has big holes that the, the rabbits, the kittens can just pass through. So we will uh, use the, the cartoon instead. Okay. So we're enclosing this with cartoon because they can pass through it. So we have counted how many? Four kittens. One, two, three, four. Yes. Five. They're wild. Five, six. Oops. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven kittens. Okay. Another bannies can be gathered from here also. Eight. Eight. Nine. And ten. Wow. Oh. Eleven. Twelve. So we've got 12 kittens and we will add some 8 more over there. <laughs> 15. So we got some 20 kittens, baby bunnies, and uh, I, I honor this man, Ferdinand, before you guys, because he is a, a man of good courage. Good courage because he really made his way to augment his income. Well, he's been employed in a good uh, company, but uh, still he wanted to augment his income through raising these rabbits, and he has something to tell us now. I Ferdinand Morela. I Sir Dexter, ganag kailang eh. Kung sa iyang pitchup, kung mga rabbit, siya mo kumpra ta na, mas ipila ka po, iyang paliton. Wala si Sir Dexter, dito may makatuhan mo, kung nasa na mo mabaligyan yung mga rabbit, yung problema dun eh. Sugod na kailang ni Sir Dexter, wala na mong problema, kaya naman dito siya mo kuhan, mas ipila ka po, hindi man dito siya mabalibad. Kamog, naman mo yung mga alaga sa inyo, Dili lang rabbit, mga hero, mga hybrid na hero. Doon lang muna yung Sir Dexter. Kasi Sir Dexter, 
makatabang dun na to di dun siya mo balibat usap ba buutan niya ay nga tao sa ligan dun ako lang ikuhan ninyo nga kung nga yung problema doon lang ni Sir Dexter Sir Dexter Ando talaga na ako kayo kung pasalamat ni Sir nga niabot siya sa ako kinabuhi kay hindi tungod niya di hindi niyo maga ingani ko gamay kita ko So guys, we are so privileged that we were able to know different types of rabbit racing, racing on the ground. As what he said, this uh, friendship of ours have uh, made us more productive through racing these rabbits. So thank you for watching and I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of our regular uploads only here at Dexter's World!